So this is a, a quick how-to uh, tutorial on the heat haze asset. Um, pretty simple really, I've got a, a, a scene I've already set up ready to, to use. There's obviously no heat haze effect at all on this fire yet. So we're going to add that in now. It's pretty simple to do. Um, I've already imported my uh, heat haze asset. So I find my main camera in the scene, go into uh, scripts, the heat haze uh, camera configuration drag and drop that onto my camera and I can now see that I've got the component added version one's even instructions there already uh, now in order for it to work we need to tell it what game objects in the scene are going to have the heat haze effect applied to them because uh, it's all rendered onto the geometry uh, so to do that you can either pick a layer that's already there but I think it's better if you create a new layer and uh, I tend to call it heat haze because that's what it is um, so we've created a new layer so we're going to say that the, the system is going to use that heat haze uh, layer to, to know what what objects need the heat haze um, items rendering against them uh, and then what we're going to do is click configure and that's going to set up our camera system to, to render the heat haze effect now you get a number of messages uh, possible error messages from that are you've either put this script on a non-camera object or you've already applied the config or already which I'll show you that in a minute so it's basically telling you, you know, the, the steps it takes to set it up and that's the one we're looking for camera configured so we know it's finished and completed so if I was to if I clear my messages and configure again you see I'll get an error message it's not changed anything in there um, but it's just told me I've already got it configured for this camera system so what has it done it's created a new camera which is basically going to read the scene prior to any heat haze effects being applied so we can then use that for the heat haze effect and what it does is basically clone your camera but attaches a heat haze uh, camera script to it um, so now what we can do is we can add heat, heat haze objects into the scene so uh, there's one that comes with uh, the, the, the package in the prefabs uh, just heat haze object uh, before we manipulate that we need to check that the material we've imported uh, which it already has but you can uh, it's got a bump map but you can always switch that out for whatever bump maps you want to use but we'll stick to that one that it's got at the moment but again you can change that to be whatever you like and so uh, prefab we'll just make sure that prefab's using the right material is the heat he's object material um, uh, we see shadows off, cast shadows are off because we don't need we don't need that on this on this object. It's a it's shimmering air, isn't it? So it's not going to cast or show any shadows. Um, so that's all on there already to go. So now we should be able to just drag and drop that. I'm going to just place that in the scene there, so we can see that that's that's placed in the scene. That's all perfect. It's showing through. So I'm going to raise it up to once it's taking up the whole of my my chimney shaft there so that's good so what we need to make sure of though is I've already got this picked up because the heat has but when you import it into your package it may not have that set so ensure that that, that layer is set to heat haze for the heat haze object um, we should be able to run that now and it should pick it up checking we've got no errors in the console and there we go we've got the heat haze effect that's it so but you can create your own heat haze effects as well uh, if I just switch that up just to show you what it looks like without the heat haze so no heat haze still looks quite cool but there's no no shimmer from the atmosphere from the heat of the fire if I put it on we've got it there we've also got quite a few uh, variables we can alter in here as well you can either alter them directly off the off the material you should be able to change them in here so we've got the weight which is how much of the normal map is, is distorting the air so I was to set that to point oh oh one that's a very tiny oh five it's even more so but if I bring that up to something like one you can see it's really heavy which is really quite ugly but you might need you know these sort of um, those levels change for whatever effect you want to apply we can also alter the velocity of the the heat haze too so in this case if we could slow it down a bit more of a slower ripple slow it down even more 
so it's just slowly manipulating the, the air or we could ramp it right up make it much faster uh, so that's vertical velocity or we could make it a little bit of horizontal velocity as well uh, horizontal velocity as well so there's lots of things we can do in there uh, we can also alter the height and width so it's probably better if I show you this in in the uh, editor view it makes a bit more sense as you can see we've got this kind of nice triangular shape to it so we can alter that to how much the fall off the alpha fall off effectively is so the higher this um, number the greater the fall off so we're basically making the heat haze smaller so effectively the heat haze will have to be applied in that kind of region and you can manipulate those values to be to be whatever you like really so again that's another area of control that we've got but we you know you don't this is at the moment we're applying this heat haze to to a quad object but this could be any old object you like so it could be the mesh could be um, a capsule so it's taking up the whole area it really doesn't matter what it is uh, it could be um, a cube as you can see now that's taking up a bigger area let me just pull that so you can see it if I can get it I can't get hold of it let me stop it and move it so I'm going to make that bum, 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 a cube so that's going to be our, our volume for, for rendering in so I'm going to move it out to there so I run that now so our haze is, uh, heat haze is in that, that cube effect gets flipped in the editor because it's using a different um, but in the scene it's fine uh, so again we can, uh, say we can use a cube can, so that could be any mesh you've got in your in your project so now we're using the an elongated sphere back to a quad so literally you can use any geometry for it. it's very simple to set up I can put in as many of these as I like in my scene move them back let's get that back to quad and scale and size and we do whatever we like with it put some off to the side probably don't need so so, yeah, so we've got now heat haze in effect going on outside as well as well as the heat haze in so got obviously where we've not got the geometry uh, being having the heat haze rendered to doesn't apply it. Still 670 frames a second. It's very little effect. So even if I uh, switch switch these off. Very little change at all. Even if I take that camera out in the loop completely. Still around about 66, 67. You know, so it's, it's it's doing quite well, I think. So that's that. That's pretty much how you set it up. Um, very simple to use. Be on the asset store soon. Hope you found this uh, video helpful for when you do set it up, or if you're just you know you're trying to decide whether to buy it or not. I hope this has helped you make a decision whether to or not to buy it. Um, and and thanks for watching.